Hello guys, this is Ladislav from the 5T5 and today I would like to show you uh, our product, it's a VTD, VT Jungle, it's the remote extender for uh, all Volvo cars since 1998, so it's basically this small OBD plug and if you connect this into the OBD socket in your car, in your Volvo, you can uh, you can extend the functionality of the car. So I have the VDD in all of these three cars. Uh, this is the S60 T6 Polestar 2018. This one is a V90 Cross Country uh, model year 22, and this one is a XC60 T8. Uh, 2018 so with the VDD you can uh, for all these cars you can start the heater and for the SPA cars you can start the engine also so you can you can uh, lower the temperature in the summer and of course you can heat up the car in the winter for the P3 cars uh, P2 and P1 that's uh, for example v V50 uh, S40, uh, S60, V60, XC70, S80, all these cars uh, you can extend the functionality uh, I will show you show you how to do it so I have the app in this in this iPad uh, we have app for uh, for iOS and also for Android so you can use the app for example, in your tablet, in, in your mobile phone, you can log in with uh, with one with one account into more uh, more devices. So you can use it also on the website. So I have it uh, for a better view. I have it in this iPad. So this is at the moment this car connected. Uh, so you can see the location where it is parked. Uh, you can see. The logbook. Oh, this car is not driving, so I have no no trips here. Uh, you can start the heater. We can we can try it right now, and we will see how long it will take to heat up the car. So I just started the heater, and we we, we should we should hear the sound of it in a minute or something like that. So you can you can open the windows, you can close them, you can close also the sunroof. Uh, you can unlock this car, you can lock it, also the P2 and P1 cars you can lock. Uh, here you can see the, the view of, uh, of the status of the car, if all the locks are locked, if the doors are open or not. On this tab you can see, uh, for example, the consumption, if the car is diesel, you can see also the, uh, the DPF, uh, the particle filter. You can see the average consumption. You can see uh, how much fuel you have in your uh, in your in your tank. This car is not driving so much, so here is no data. But I will show you later for other cars. Uh, here you can see the status of the battery charge. This uh, this car has uh, at the moment 12.3 volts and 780 percent uh, of the start of uh, state of charge. So here you can see uh, the diagnostic trouble code. You can also clear the code. Here you can see the the last service, the service interval. You can also clear it. Uh, and here you can initialize the the position of the of the windows for the P3, P2, and P1. It's useful, but for the other car, for the new one, it's not useful at all. So here uh, in the in the last app. In settings, you can see uh, the VIN code of the car, uh, the the code of the of the dongle, and the, the software version. Here you can see the subscription expiration, and here all the stuff about the account. Uh, here you can set up uh, the the language. But the most important uh, thing for for the P3, P2, and P1 cars is the extender. So here it depends on the car. It's uh, this uh, this setting is different for every platform. So for this car, for the P3, for for this S60, 
uh, I activated the this function. Flexum is the is the horn is the is the sound activated with unlock. Is the for US car? It's I pretty like it. So uh, I have it also here in Europe because we don't have it in Europe. So I activate it uh, with unlock and with the lock. So you you will be notified if your if your car is locked or not. Uh, I activate it also high beam activation with unlock and lock. It's useful because when uh, the dark uh, comes pretty early in these times in the winter, uh, you the, the car will start the, the lights. So you will see uh, if you are coming to the car, uh, you will have, a, have the light. So uh, I activated the, those those uh, two with a lock and unlock, and also for the P3, this is very really good uh, good function, and also for P2 and P1. Uh, if you uh, have the automatic automatic locking uh, activated in your car, then probably you are uh, annoyed if you if you, for example, driving your alone, and uh, your car is locked, you stop the driving and uh, you open your doors and you want to take something from the other side but all the doors are locked only only the driver's doors are unlocked so with this function you can unlock all the doors uh, once the driver's doors are unlocked so this is very useful i really like it so so that's it uh, i can hear the sound of the of the of the heater already i can show you now uh, the functions, how it works with the with the lock and unlock. Uh, so we have un uh, we have activated the these uh, these functions. So you can see if I unlock the car, it makes a sound and the uh, and the lights are on. If I lock it again, it's doing it again. So it's pretty fun. I I really like it. And uh, yeah, so now the V90 cross country. I'll switch it here. So now that's this car. So again, you can see, uh, for example, now I can show you the logbook because uh, here you can tag uh, your trips if, you, if it's a private trip or it's a business trip for example this was my private trip and from this side is a business trip if you don't want to do this like this you can just click on the on the line and you can select uh, if it was private or business or unspecified so it was for example the business trip if I want to change it I can do it very easily you can change it like this or you can remove it so here you can see all the trips and here you can see uh, how, how are you using the car if, uh, if you are using it only for the for the short trips or the long trips or so ah can you hear it's, it's the sound of the of the heater so the, the car should melt in uh, 10 minutes or something like that okay here again uh, for the SPA you can start the heater or you can stop it so I don't want to do it right now you can again see uh, if the car is locked or unlocked or if, the, if some doors are open or not here you can see again uh, the consumption the hit here uh, the gray one is the DPF it's a uh, is the particle filter for the for the diesels not very useful for uh, American cars but uh, but in Europe we have a uh, plenty of them so here you can see my last, uh, last trips again the battery charge the state of charge all the DTCs uh, the SP cars uh, they have a lot of DTCs but uh, you don't have to care about them because uh, what will say it's just the ghost goes DTC so nobody cares uh, my last service uh, yeah and that's all here unfortunately here we don't have uh, the uh, the extender for the for the SPA cars uh, for now but it will come very soon we are working on 
on uh, some lighting and uh, closing the sunroof and so uh, so here uh, is the my service place uh, button with this you can select uh, your home service uh, that means that for example if your garage uh, is using uh, your, your serviceman is using a V-Dash you can easily order your car for service through this uh, through this app uh, I selected here our own service but for example I can I can select others see okay I, I will select my and I will order the car for for service you can navigate to the service you can call them and you can select what do you want to do with your car for example, you you need the technical inspection for it. because in Czech Republic, for the old cars you have to pass every two years uh, the technical inspection. I don't know how it's uh, in other countries, but in Czech Republic it's like this. Uh, you can select here everything what you want to want to do with your car. For example, tire change, diagnostic, something doesn't work. So, uh, and here you can select your car. Uh, yeah, here send requests. One. Okay, it's really cold here. Maybe it's frozen. So that was just a joke. Okay, uh, this is the model year 22. Now I will switch to this XC60, the the hybrid car. It has pretty same uh, same menu like the model year 22 so I will go fastly to here again you, you can see the logbook all the trips uh, yeah heater start stop here start the engine yeah it's pretty same everything just yeah different car okay now uh, yeah uh, here here you can you can zoom in zoom out yeah things like this now I, I'm going to start the cars uh, these two and we will see which one heats up uh, fast, fastest so let's start the, the hybrid okay it's on it's hybrid so it doesn't start the engine it starts on the heater sometimes so I don't know the logic about uh, behind this, but sometimes it happened like this. Okay, ah, come on, so, okay, it's starting the engine. You need to wait for it. Okay, I can hear the sound of this uh, of this heater. Right here. So finally, now I swap to to this cross country. Starts the engine every time, so yeah, you can see the engine started. So, and now we will wait uh, which car melts first, and then I will show you other things. So, for now. And we will wait now. So I will try to check the, the temperature, engine temperature is here. Okay, 
I need to start the car to see the see the engine temperature. So now I will go into every car and I will start it. So, and we will see. The timer is still running. Here you can see uh, the status of, uh, of, the, of the car. Started, it's, it's blue, and uh, you see the vehicle is in use. There's a, there's a second uh, key position. So and now here you can check the, the temperature of the engine. There's the car. Take this one first. Okay, sorry for, for this car. It's not uh, available at the moment in the in the app. So sorry, it's not here yet. But we will add it, of course. Every time we find something what uh, the users are missing, uh, we we add it into the app. So we can try to check on the, on the diesel one. Okay, the engine temperature is 25 degrees, but outside at the moment is something around minus 3. Uh, the Celsius, not the Fahrenheit. Okay, the XC60. Is it 26 but personally I think the the hybrid was the was the best uh, and fastest heater so I think the hybrid is uh, the best one this uh, p3 it's uh, the, the heater was started 20 minutes ago and okay the, the car is melt but it's it's still cold the best one is the is the x60 second one is, uh, is the cross country and the third one is uh, this whole one okay here you can see the car car uh, doors are unlocked and for example if I open doors some I'll show you so you should see See, it's open now. Let's check the country. Okay, then all doors are closed, and now I will open the, the doors behind behind the driver. open now let's see this the 60 ah then the, the 
dongle is disconnected. Probably something something happened with the connection. So now the car is offline. So sorry. I will not show you show now. Okay. Thanks for watching and if you want start your heater and extend your Volvo on call functionality because the, the dongle is way better than than Volvo on call. Uh, please support us by the dongle. Uh, this this small this small pack is connected into the OBD. You can put it into every Volvo car since uh, 1998. So yeah, we have our own app for Android and for uh, for uh, uh, iOS. So yeah, please support us. Buy this. We have it in our eShop, and uh, you can enjoy your Volvo. Uh, with, uh, with the extended functions so it will help you and uh, also you can diagnose the car with this uh, you can connect it uh, into the into V dash and yeah thanks for watching uh, and see you next time bye bye